Hi, my name's Gareth and this lovely lady is Marion. Uh, today we're bringing you a home exercise video on behalf of Suffolk Community Leisure. Uh, for those people at home, isolated, more of a mature age, who would like to do some exercise and we'll put you through your paces today in a nice way. Uh, for those people who have any health problems, who feel they should be exercising advised by the doctor or a health professional, or you're feeling unwell, then please don't do any exercises today. So now we're going to do the warm up and want to sit down. These exercises can be done where you sat down nice and relaxed if you need to, or you can stand up to make it that little bit harder for yourself as well. Okay? So with the warm up, we want to just march our feet up and down, get yourself comfortable, sat on the edge of the chair if you sat down. That's it, well done, Marion. And then we're going to add a heel dip. Keep yourself nice and relaxed. Look at your own pace. This one now is just getting the heart rate pumping that a little bit more and getting the legs moving at the same time. So we're going to go back to a march. As you're getting your legs going, you can get your arms moving more by your side. That's it. And we're going to do a toe tap. That's it, just on the spot. That's good. Well done. If you've got that little bit more energy, you can go a bit faster. So if it feels comfortable at the pace you're working, that's fantastic. And we're going back to a march. Hold on, Marion. And we're going to do a step to the side. That's it. That's good. That's fabulous. Hold on, Marion. And back to a march. That's good. Now we're going to add the arms. That's it. Keeping the feet moving. That's good. Getting all the blood pumping. And relax the arm, back to a march, and just going to give the shoulders a roll around forwards. Nice and loose. And roll them back. That's good. Back to a march. And stop. So we're going to the toes, we're going to do a toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, and heel. And another foot, toe, heel. So, heel, so, and heel. Well done, that's the warm up. Okay, so now we're going to the main exercise and we're going to do 12 different exercises that can be performed standing or sat down at your own pace. So I'm going to sit down, Marion. And our first exercise, we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. So you're going to take the arm up. That's, <laughs> that's it, that's it. it. That's the opposite one. Opposite leg and up, like so. Well done. Now these exercises, every single one, can be performed up to 60 seconds. So if you are feeling fitter or more energetic, then you can do a full 60 seconds. And if you can, just do what you can manage at your own ability and how you feel. That's good. How's that feel, Marion? Fine. Good. Keep going. Okay, so we're going to change the second exercise. We're going to do a match on the spot. Now for this one, we're going to do a heel dig and a bicep curl. Now these can also be done with weights used as tins out the cupboard or bottles of water if you've got them as well. So we have two bottles of water there. That's good. So we can be done with them or without them, standing or sat down as well. Okay, so next exercise, bicep curls and a heel dig, just like so. Well done. Again, always look at your own pace and do what you can. Good. Good, Marion. Do three more. One, two, and three. Well done. So back to a match. You can put the water down now. So our next exercise, our third one, is what's called half jacks. And this one can be done sat down by taking the arms up and across. Or if you sat down, tap into the side with one foot and also taking the arms to the 
side as well. Okay, so third exercise, half jacks. That's good, we'll do it in time. Well done. And again, you can just step out as far as you can when you're taking your arms up, no higher than shoulder height. That's perfectly fine. Again, working at your own pace and at your own speed as you go through the exercises. That's good. Well done. That's good, Marion, you're working hard. <laughs> Keep going. And three more. One, two, and three. And relax. Well, I think you deserve a sit down. So please take a seat, Marion. So our next exercise is straight legs. And this one's to work our legs. Now with this one, you can sit back a bit more comfortably. Get yourself nice and relaxed. And you want to take one leg out straight. Bring it down and out again. You just keep repeating each leg. Taking your time like so. Now we can make this a bit more for the muscles. What we can do is hold it out for three or four seconds and bring it down. Take the other one out for about three or four seconds and bring it down. So we'll do that. And down. That's good. How's that feel? is a pectoral fly. So if you'd like to take the bottles of water clean, Marion. And all you want to do is take your arms out, come in, just yeah. like so. Sit down. Oh, I can't. You can yeah. stand up, I'll sit down, you can do the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so arms up and in and out. That's it. Again, at your own time. Now if you want to make this one harder, you've got the energy, you've got your breath, you can keep your feet moving as well. And this can be sat down as well, keeping your feet moving. Or again, if you are breathless, you can just do it without any sort of weights or bottles at the same time. That's good. Again, as always, work at your own pace. That's great, Marion. And out. That's good. And just take your hands out as far as you can. So you feel a slight pull. That's good. Perfect. That's good. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, yeah. right. That's good. I'll keep your feet moving as well. Well done. Can you feel that yet? Yeah. Good. Yeah. And the latch hand by your side. So you can keep the bottles of water with you. And next one, we want to match our feet. And you're going to push the arms back. Just like so. Again, you can sat down, sat on the edge of the chair, and you can push your arms back like so. That's good. Well done. Keep going, keep your feet moving. Again, if you're breathless, you can keep your feet still. If you can keep them moving, that gets the heart pumping a bit more as well. Again, always at your own pace. That's good. That's good man, keep going. Three more, one, and two, and three. Brilliant. Okay, you can put them down. You can have a sit down and marry well done. So our next exercise is sit down and stand up. So for this one, you need to sit on the edge of the chair. Make sure your heels are pushed back. Nice good posture, nice and straight. Just rest your hands on top of your thighs and then just stand up slowly. Slight pause and then slowly sit down in a controlled motion. Okay, so we'll stand up and down. Good, and again, again, take your time with these, don't rush. Good. 
How's that feel? Good. Get my knees are cracking again. <laughs> Five more of them. And two more. And last one. And relax it down again. Well done. Okay, so our next exercise is chest press with a bottle. So if you stand up for me again, Marion, I'm going to hold your hands to the sides, push you forwards and back. Perfect. And if you want, you can keep your feet moving as well. Okay, sit down, edge of the chair, pushing forwards and back. That's it, good. Can you keep your feet moving as well? Do you feel you can do that? That's good. That's great, man, well done. Do you feel breathless or do you feel okay? I'm fine, I'm just warm. You're warm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, keep going. I told you to give you a good workout, didn't I? And last three, one, two, and three, and relax. Okay, so we'll pause there, ready? Yeah. So the next exercise is stepping up and down on the stairs. Now this can be done easily by putting your foot onto the step. Just putting a bit of pressure through, pushing up, leave the other foot down, and then coming back down again. Try the other foot, push you through, a little bit of pressure, and then down. One more time, foot on the step, push up and through, and down, and again, push up, and then down. Now that can be made harder if you do the full step up onto the step. So step on, Bring your other foot through, step on, step down slowly, and then back up again in your own time. Again, this is done at your own pace and at your own speed. Again, holding on is a good idea, just keep your balance and support. And that can be onto the banister side, just to make sure you feel comfortable. Again, make sure it's at your own pace. Just watch for anything around you, you can trip or slip over. But importantly, take your time. That's good, Marion. Well done. And we'll do two more. One. And two. And down. Well done. So the next exercise is a squat. You can use the kitchen side. Oh, as you can see here, Marion's got a lovely chair, it's nice and sturdy, you can hold on to it at the same time. Marion, put your hands onto the chair for me. I want your feet roughly hip or shoulder width apart, that's fine. And you're going to bend at the knees, slight bend and push up. You're just going to go down as far as you can, even if it's a very slight bend in the knee, and up again. But if you can go a bit lower, that's perfect. I'm just going to keep going until you feel a slight burn in the legs. If you get any pain or it hurts at any time, then please stop. That's good, keep going. Well done. <laughs> keep going. Good. And we'll do four more. Three. Two, and keep the upright roll. So we need the bottles for this one as well. There we go. So this one, you're going to match the feet and take in the elbows wide, lifting up the water and then down. Again, can be done sat down without any water or tins. That's good. Keep the feet moving. Again, if your legs do get tired, you can stop your legs. But if you feel okay, keep the legs moving. This is our 12th and last exercise. Well done, Marion, you've done really good so far.
three more. One, two, and three. Well done. Thank you. Right, so workout, now we're going to do the cool down to finish off. We're going to keep our feet moving, hand by the side. That's good. Again, nice and gentle. And the idea of a cool down to slow the pace down and just loosen the muscles off at the same time. Well done. Okay, just relax your hands on your legs now, keep the legs moving. And we're going to go to a heel dig. Just like so. Well done. And back to a gentle march. Don't raise the legs too high, just nice and gentle. That's good. And now we're going to the toe tap. Well done. That's good. And back to a march. Tap to the side. Perfect. That's good. A match. Okay, so it's got a stat tap in the toes. That's good. Put your hands by your side. Just going to get the shoulders and roll around forwards again. And roll them back. That's good. Back to tapping the toes. Again, you can do alternate all the same time, it doesn't matter. Good. You can tap in the heels. And we'll finish off with the toe tap and the heel dig. Tap, heel, tap, heel, tap, and heel. Or the foot. Tap, heel, tap, heel, tap, and heel. Well done. Thank you very much.